watch your shoes whenever you step through. Beg your pardon, this garden special. Oh, this special right here. These ain't just plants, baby. These vegetables. Oh yeah, these vegetables. Grow with me. Garden flow. All right. Hey, what's going on, my good people? GT here, and uh, figured I'd give y'all the first official YouTube garden tour. And uh, well, well, first of all, let's start right here with this uh, with this watermelon. This is a black diamond watermelon. It was actually a gift. Uh, we got a little watermelon coming in right there. But um, yeah, this was a gift. And uh, we're gonna see what that bad boy do. Moving along, this is uh, uh, one of my pollinator rows, I guess, my pollinator beds. Starts off with some parsley, got sunflower, marigolds, uh, some zinnias. These are peppermint, um, peppermint stick mix. Got those, got um, some morning glories, I think some pansies. Uh, actually, got a uh, green envy tomato right there that I just stuck in there. Um, and we got some more zinnias. These are my big red zinnias. All from seed, all from seed. And uh, let's see, in the back row, down here we have cucumbers going down. A couple more peppers, and then we got sunflowers on the back row. Bring it along, bring it along. Uh, over here, well, well, we'll start with this bed. Um, got a couple marigolds, um, some eggplants, got a burgundy okra, uh, a few more eggplants. Uh, this is where most of my eggplants are in this little bed right here. And then, uh, moving along, we're gonna move up over here, we have um, some more sunflowers. We have some onions, uh, some marigolds, some kale, and some kohlrabi over here. Um, let's see, we got some more cucumbers over here. Got some Georgia collards collard greens right here um, and actually with the collard greens I got some thyme this is thyme I have a few herbs in this corner including this uh, this spearmint right here um, let's see got my mammoth sunflowers that's taller than me but uh yep. They ain't even, they haven't bloomed yet. It's coming soon though. We uh, take it around this corner. Uh, got some lemon balm right here. Got some chamomile, uh, cabbage, chamomile, cabbage, chamomile, cabbage. Swing it along. My pepper row and my tomato row. Okay, right here, my tomato row, as y'all can see. It's, um, <laughs> I had to do a little, uh, I had to rig it a little bit because my bamboos weren't holding like I wanted to with the wind. But uh, now it's like pretty much all one trellis almost. Uh, but this is my tomato row. I got starting off, uh, these are San Marzano's. I believe so. If I'm not mistaken, these are San Marzano's. Over here we got some Cherokee purple. We only uh, have one on and I harvested a few. But we just got one on here right now. Um, next to that, 
we have the husky cherry red tomato yeah this thing's producing we got a marigold in between i also have some carrots carrots planted in between some of the tomatoes um and then moving along these are chadwick cherries you can see this baby is producing. Yeah, they got, got a lot of tomatoes up on here. Let's see. And right next to that, we have Super Sweet 100s. And, uh, oh. Well, well, well. Y'all see that? Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to come back to this later and handle that. But this is the Super Sweet 100. Um, yeah, it's got, got, a, got a few tomatoes on here, got some up here. Um, and then ending on this row with the San Marzanos. These babies looking good. Next to the tomato row, we got we have the pepper row. Starting right here with the uh, candy cane pepper. See one right here. Got the biggest pepper on here. Uh, next to that, uh, jalapeno. These are jalapeno plants. And behind the jalapeno plants, I have an okra. Uh, you can see there's an okra already on there that's ready to harvest. Uh, that okra, and then I have another okra over there. But those are my jalapenos. Next to the jalapenos are my uh, sweet orange sun peppers. And that's what these are, these three. And then next to those three, we have the hot orange pepperoncini. Got a few different varieties. Uh, but uh, as you can see, we're coming along. Um, let's see what else. Let's take you along this way. All right, and over here, I have a bunch of different things as you can see. Um, but we're gonna start here. This is my Brussels sprout plant. That's been clearly been getting eaten up by these critters. Look at this. You see him? I'm gonna feed him to the birds later. Him and his homies. Look at them. All right. But next to the Brussels sprouts, this is celery. We got some celery, y'all. Check that out. Check it out. And next to the celery, we have beets. Woo, look at that bad boy. Yeah, we're going to harvest this today. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna harvest this thing. This is my broccoli. I grew that from seed, as you can see, it's starting to stretch them flowers out. I need to get that head off. Uh, next to the broccoli, we have some romaine lettuce. As you can see, I've been harvesting this. So it's a little, all, you know, it's all over the place. Uh, next to that, we have a few things over here. These are uh, tomatillos. Uh, right here and then we have two um shimmer shimmer tomatoes right here i also plugged romaine lettuces just in random spots just because it was so crowded right there next to this we have some swiss chard and yes we, yeah we're gonna harvest some of this today because yeah this is ready all right Coming over in this corner right here, we have some dinosaur kale. Um, next to the dinosaur kale is my good old in-ground potatoes. Um, I'm gonna harvest these soon too because the, the leaves are dying away, so they'll be uh, ready to harvest soon. And I also have a, a cucumber tomato that I just planted over here. What? It's a couple things I just planted like that. 
that's a zucchini plant. Uh, I got some kale over there. Um, but yeah, bringing it back around. Look at the color, look at the color. These are Chadwick cherries. And uh, they are looking quite scrumptious. So uh, it's only right. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. All right, those are the Chadwick cherries. I have a bunch of different tomatoes growing over here. Uh, some yellow pear tomatoes over here. These are my yellow pears. I got a lot of tomatoes. None of them are turned. Well, I got one down here turning. I don't know if we can get that in the shot. This is my first uh, yellow pear tomato that's turning yellow. But, uh, yeah, that's this. Uh, got some more San Marzano's. This is a uh, Atkinson. I actually got this from my uh, mama. But uh, this is an Atkinson tomato. Uh, then I got a couple things that's going to flower over here, including this Swiss chard and this burgundy lettuce over here. And got some green onions down here. Keep those on deck. We just cut them and they just keep coming back. So, uh, yeah, that's the green onions. All right, and this is the centerpiece of the garden, I guess you could say. Starting right here with uh, my handy dandy bird bath and bird feeder. I like to um, collect these little cabbage worms and toss them in this little cup for my buddies. And let them go crazy. Uh, but uh, well, I guess we could start right here. We already gave the rundown of that bed, so we could start right here. Um, fun fact about this bed, uh, let me see the sunflower. The um, fun fact about this bed is that uh, I didn't do anything to it. Uh, I just broke up the soil a little bit and then planted stuff right in there. And you can see I got, yeah, this kale is doing beautifully. I had a bunch of lettuce in here, but it all bolted. So uh, I got it up out of here. I put a marigold in here. Uh, it's a cucumber over there. And um, these are, I forgot what, uh, are those zinnias? I forgot what kind of flowers those are, but you know, that's what we got in that bed. Coming along here, as you can see, I got a lot of onions I need to harvest. I ain't, they just, I've been letting them go to seed and flower. Uh, just, just because, really. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna harvest these because it's time. Uh, but I also have some tomatoes in this bag. Over here, I have the one and only. Husky cherry red. These are husky cherry reds. And um, over there, we have some more husky cherry reds. Okay, they both husky cherry reds. And then over there in the corners, we have brandy, brandy wine tomatoes. And I lined them with some marigold seeds. And yeah, they starting to take shape. Uh, Centerpiece, I have a bunch of uh, lettuce that's bolting and going to flower. Uh, I also put a few flowers in here along with it. Um, but what else? Uh, this right here, my pollinator bed. This is uh, this is where I'm uh, I'm hoping to get all the bees and the butterflies to uh, to migrate to this yard. So they can do their job. Uh, so that's what this bed is for. I have a couple okras in there and some Swiss chard, but outside of that, some onions I need to harvest. But everything else is flowers. All for the uh, all for the bees and the butterflies. Moving along this way, 
It's another bed where I have tomatoes in all four corners. Uh, in this corner we have a sun sugar yellow cherry. And uh, yeah, we got some worm damage over here too. As you can see, the culprit's actually still in there, in that tomato. So uh, yeah, that whole tomato's gonna go in the bird feeder. And over here, uh, these are, what are these? These are big rainbow. Oh, I do got one right here. There's one, oh, what's the, I don't know what's going on. But there goes one. Uh, and I have a couple sunflowers in the in the middle. Um, oh, and these sunflowers. Did I show y'all these? These are a couple of more uh, sunflowers. These are probably my best, the ones that's doing the best right now, as far as all my sunflowers. Um, bringing it back down to the bed. I got some peppers in here. I got whopper pepper, a purple beauty. Um, I forgot what pepper this was. I'll know once they start dropping. And uh, that's a Cali Wonder over there. And in this corner, we have Snow White. Snow White tomato. Look at that. Things of beauty. Oh, juicy too. Oh yeah, that was good. All right, bring it around. Over here, these are uh, these are the San Marzano. Some more San Marzano. Uh, if y'all remember, these are the um tomatoes that I planted uh while we planted together on the windowsill. Y'all remember that? If not. Check that video out. All right, now the fourth bed in the uh, in our little square uh, houses the uh, biggest okra of the garden right here. Check this bad boy out. I'ma harvest it today, but uh, -wee. uh, we also have some peppers, uh, eggplants, peppers, eggplants, peppers, eggplants, and uh, another okra plant over there, but. Yeah, this is peppers, eggplants, and okra, all in this bed. And then uh, this, I like to call my squash bed, I guess you could say, because we got uh, quite a few different squashes in here. Um, there's a there's acorn squash over there, and if we want to step over here real quick, we can see. Look at that. Ooh. It's another one in there, but y'all get the picture. That's the acorn squash. I'm gonna bring it over here. Got some zucchini and we have a uh, over here we got a we have a crooked neck squash. I might harvest that today. I know it's small, but I think I'm a I might harvest that today. Yeah. Uh, we got some radishes in between. Uh, you can see, look at this bad boy. Looking like a whole beef. Um, what else? Got watermelon, uh, pumpkins. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that's, you know, still young, but healthy looking. So we excited to see what uh, happens with that. And over here, my little cage area, I actually have some peas. And you can see a couple of them. There goes one pea pot. There goes another pea pot. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got right there. And last, but definitely not least, is, um, my uh, my Asian greens. Uh, this is my bok choy. Yeah, this row is the bok choy. 
Next to the bok choy, we got the tatsui mustards. Um, and then uh, I did have pak choy in the middle, but all of them went to flour, so I took them out. And uh, I'm gonna have to put something else right there. But all these, all these are carrots. Um, and next to the carrots, I have some daikon radishes. Yeah that's, what, yeah, that's what all these are. And then on the end, I have some cucumbers. My cucumber plants. They all kind of like intermingling, but yeah. Trying to keep, keep, uh, keep everything alive, though. But uh, yeah. I guess uh, that's the garden so far. The the um, it's still a work in progress, but as you can see, we uh, we've come a long way in a short period of time. Yeah, and we're gonna keep doing that. Elevation, elevation. Uh, but um, I guess that's it. With all that being said, y'all continue to grow with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um. Yeah, man, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, GT underscore Dillinger. And uh, if you want to, you know, daily content, because I post on there every day, at least on my stories. So uh, holla at me, man. Continue to grow with me and uh, stay blessed.